Well, I started in the pizza industry. I worked for a family back in 1986, I believe it was. Went off to college, come back every weekend, work for them on the weekends. The first business was a little scary. I worked as a human resource manager at a hospital. Did that full-time during the daytimes. I did the restaurant full-time at night times. And soon you figured out that you can't do both full-time. So as I had a crossroads in life, do I go in the pizza industry full-time or do I stay at the hospital? I chose the pizza industry. So the the day-to-day -day life of a wrestler or owner changes almost daily. You think of my, me as an uh, owner of a restaurant, but I'm also the janitor, I'm also the accountant, I'm also the bookkeeper, I'm also the human resource person, I'm also the advertising person, uh, I'm also the family guy. I met my wife through the restaurant, believe it or not. Uh, one of my employees uh, was her cousin. So we met on a blind date in, uh, back in 2000 and been happily married since. You know, the restaurant business is a little tough because what you, it's different hours than most people are used to. So when my family's home at night, I'm here at the restaurant, which, you know, that, that's tough for a family sometimes, especially a young family. So what's it like having kids? Uh, it, it is the biggest joy in the world. It is also the most challenging job in the world. I'm very active in my kids' life. I uh, coach almost everything they play and coach hockey, baseball, basketball. They're fantastic hockey players, and, and I don't know if they learn that from me because they're better than I am. It's fun being able to have that time to coach them, and they. I think my older son will say he plays better when I'm coaching. Uh, a couple years back, uh, Jimmy Hayes, who played for the Boston Bruins, surprised my son with a visit. Uh, my son wanted us to make pizzas with him. And they, we both kind of laughed. And sure enough, within an hour, Jimmy Hayes is here making pizzas with my son. So that was, that was really cool. Now oh, he's on the as well. Sean Considine is on there. He, he won a Super Bowl championship. Uh, Coco Beware, uh, WWF uh, Hall of Fame wrestlers. If they're on the Wall of Fame at Anna's, they, they had a, either had our food or done a function with us. I, I won a competition, Pizza Day Magazine, which is the largest pizza print magazine in our industry. It goes to over 40,000 people throughout the country. They, they put out something that said, uh, who wants to be the next guest editor-in-chief of the magazine? And uh, you had to write an essay as to why you should be the guest editor-in-chief. And I ended up winning the competition. Then it went to a vote throughout the whole country. And I won the vote by 60% of the votes, which is fantastic. I've been in, I've done articles in the magazine, probably, I think, I think I've appeared in the eight of the last 13 magazines. When I went down there, I didn't know what to expect. I, I thought maybe it would be this token, you know, um, here's our guest editor in chief. But no, it was it was a truly intense process. They paid for me to come down there, and I stayed there for, I believe, four straight days. I did test kitchen stuff where I showed them how to cook things up that we did. I uh, made Italian beef sandwiches. I literally uh, was the guest editor in chief, for real. The one moment that I was down there, I was in the test kitchen, and uh, it was the first dish that I was making, and that was, uh, that was a major stress moment because uh, I can hear down the hallway, what the blank is that smell? What the blank is that smell? I thought this guy hated the smell, and I'm like, oh gosh, this is not good. This is my first dish I'm making, and he comes over and takes my pasta and starts eating it. I can hear him walking down the hallway. Have you tried the pasta? It's fantastic. You know, he went from this huge uh, stress moment to a, a, a wonderful, awesome feeling. And then since then, uh, they've brought me out to Vegas to be the judge of the International Pizza Competition. Judging Vegas was uh, a crazy experience. It was so much fun. I was a judge with the guy who was in the Guinness Book of the World's Record. And then there's a little bitty me, Anna's Pizza and Pasta. I think on the average, I eat 30 different pizzas a day. It was a fantastic experience. It was something that I hope I could experience again. I, I, I keep myself very vested in the community. I was doing a party for uh, a youth soccer group that uh, here in town. I think there's like 30 people between the parents and the kids that were here dining in in between running around to hockey games and open up normal business. The handstand, uh, I'll do anything for a laugh. You know, it, it relate to the kids too, because I mean, the, the kids are so important in this community. I believe that uh, everybody should be very active in your own community. Working with Amon Green right now, he's a, he's, he's the Packers all-time leading run, runner. 
if you called in there for a pizza, you said, I'll take the Amon Green pizza, we'll donate $2 of that pizza to his cause. And his cause uh, raises money for ch child uh, childhood cancer in Rockford. So there's so many times that she bring me up to her floor and say, well, this young man has cancer. We're going to a funeral for another child. It's like, man, life is not always fair. I got a lot of opportunity here. You know, and so it changed me as a man. I will give my wife 100% of the credit. If if you go back prior to Stacy, I can honestly say my, my goal in business was to make money. My mindset was everybody's got the same same opportunity that I have. And meeting Stacy, I found out that's not true. And money's really not the important thing in life. I mean, if you can make an impact and still live a good, honest living, why not? There's a lot of really good pizzas. Because uh, uh, I don't want to get hit with the ball, but a lot of coffee.